to it. It would be wrong to say that I introduced Western culture to China or introduced Chinese culture to the West. I think what I'm doing is some cross-cultural, cross-border sort of art. It was only possible after I moved to Paris that I was able to do this sort of work. Every time when I use Western ideas in my art, I'm changing. I'm transforming every time. Every time when I use Western ideas in my art, I'm changing. I'm transforming each time I'm doing it. And when I'm using Chinese culture in my artwork, I'm changing as well. So I'm changing with art. To try to understand the local culture and to bring local cultures into my work is always something I look for, because I never want to repeat myself. It's only from learning the local cultures that I start to enrich myself and to enrich my art. Every time the process is different, depending on the environment, depending on the timing, and depending on the place itself. Sometimes I respond very quickly and the response can be very acute and very strong. And then sometimes it's very slow. Sometimes it takes ages. Sometimes there's no response at all. The scale itself is just a surface. But the big scale itself is quite authoritative. But at the same time, it is anti-authoritarian because of its scale. If it is so big that it is scary or threatens some authority, then it loses its original meaning. What I mean here to say is that the scale is only the surface, that the size or the scale itself is a relative concept. It may look big in a particular gallery room, but actually it is very small if you put it in a different context. So something which is big can be very small.